Hi, so here's a quick video of my plants that I got yesterday on clearance. Five dollars each. This is a red hibiscus. It looks a little, a little droopy, so I just took the shears to it and started removing all the droopy foliage. Trying to give it a fresh start. Normally, um, you cut everything off when it's rooting. You cut off the blossoms or the buds and all that. But I left these buds on because... Does have roots? Look, originally nineteen ninety nine. So I have hope for it, and I'm gonna try to uh, just be monitoring its health. So you see the little buds. Here's a tiny one, and this one is about to bloom, as well as this one. Um, so I just planted it, in, planted it in another pot, and um, look at all the rootage. My word that I made up. Anyways, um. It was really dry. These roots were very dry. I sh should have submerged it in water. But anyway, I just moved it to a new pot. And I watered it well. And I'm um, just going to keep an eye on it. There you go. That's all she wrote. And Bob's your uncle. Fanny is your aunt. So, yeah. Stay tuned. I'm going to do one about crested succulents in a little bit. Thank you for watching. Arigato ne. Bye-bye. Oops, I forgot to add this one, the Sweet Pea Shrub Petite Butterfly. It was also $5, has a little dry leaves there. So, I, you know, I always try to get more bang for my buck, and I pulled this out to see what's going on. It was also a little bit root-bound, but I managed to get three different plants out of it. One, I planted straight in the ground. One, no, sorry, two, because uh, I heard they're great for pollinators. And I want the birds and the butterflies to come over here. They're really good. And the bees, of course. So you see lots of roots. Um, yeah, I got three plants out of it. I'm very happy camper. And I'll show you later on how it goes with this plant. I've never grown it before. Thank you for watching. Okay, see you later. Bye. Arigato.